Tony here, folks, with Swedes Fly Shop on Garland in Spokane. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie an adult female squala. In the vise, I have a TMCO TMC 200R size 8. I've loaded a bobbin with some size 3 aught Danville color black. Let's get started. Go ahead and lay down a thread base on the hook, break off the tag, and advance our thread backwards towards the uh, bend of the hook. And once you get almost to the bend, go ahead and take your thread back forward to the hook point. Okay, for our first material, we're going to use some black craft foam that I've cut to a point already. And we're going to go ahead and get this tied in. If I can get a hold of it, there we go. And we're going to capture that down to where we took our thread. About right there come back up and capture that all the way down. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold this craft foam over and create a little nubbin on the back that's going to represent the egg sac on the back of the female fly, female squala. Capture that, advance our thread forward a couple turns. What we're going to do is we're going to create some segmentation on this fly. The segmentation is not for function, it's just for buoyancy because we're going to cover that up with some dubbing later on. And ideally we're trying to get five to six segments out of this fly. Continue advancing your thread. Continue making those segments. Okay, now we've got our craft foam all the way towards the hook eye. What we're going to do is we're going to bend it over and create a dimple in the foam with the hook eye, and then we're going to punch it through with our tying scissors. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to fold that down and push the hook eye through that hole. And the hook eye should be protruding just like that. Then we're going to fold that craft foam all the way over, and we're going to capture it to create the head of the fly. And go ahead and apply some pressure because we've got some 3 out here so it's pretty tough. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove that craft foam, the excess. Go ahead and pull our thread out of the way. Be sure not to cut it. Capture down any excess. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and advance our thread back through each segment until we get to the back of the fly. Now we're going to come in with some Australian Possum Awesome Possum Color Dark Olive Dubbin and we're going to go ahead and make a thin dubbin noodle on the fly. I'm sorry, on the tying thread. And you want your dubbin noodle to be about three to four inches in length And the purpose of the dubbin is to not only create the body, but we're going to cover up those segmentations with the dubbin. Need a little bit more here. There we go. Okay, for our next material, we're going to come in with some pearl crystal flash, about four strands. One, two, three, four. Pull those free from the hank. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap these around the tying thread, these four strands, and then we're going to pull them up on top. We're going to capture those directly on top of the fly. to create eight strands of crystal flash. And that is our underwing. 
and you should be left with something that looks like this. Okay, for our next material, we are going to use some D's Flies Duraskin in color tan, and I've already cut one to shape of a wing. And this is our overwing. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this on top of the fly over the top of the crystal flash underwing. And you're going to want that to protrude about three millimeters or so past the, uh, the length of the underwing, the crystal flash underwing. We're going to go ahead and capture that on top. Make sure it's all nice and even with the rest of the body of the fly. Looks good. I'm happy with that. And continue capturing that. Okay. Go ahead and trim out the excess. Okay, you should be left with something that looks like this. Okay, for our next material, we're going to add in some legs. And for our leg material, we're going to use some micro mini silicon legs in color olive and black barred. And you can find these right here in Swede's Fly Shop. And these have green flake in them, so it's a really attractive leg. And silicone has many advantages over rubber. It won't rot or deteriorate in the water, for starters. And it's just, it's got more life and movement than rubber does. It's not as stiff. I mean, look how wobbly that is. There we go. Trim that, but not to length. Okay, for our next material, we're going to come in with some foam glitter sheet. This is green foam. It's about 1.5 millimeters thick. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a little tiny strip of this, about 4 millimeters wide. And you're going to have something that looks like this. This is, our, this is going to be our indicator as well as the attractor pattern part of this pattern. Uh, we're going to tie this in glitter, sheet, glitter side down. That way when the light reflects off the water, the fish can see it and it's more visible to the fish. And it acts as an attractor. I'm going to go ahead and capture that directly on top, right on top of the wing. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trim that out. You want to post it, pull both sides up just like that, and trim it to about three or four millimeters. So you should be left with something that looks like this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come in with our whip finish tool and we're gonna whip finish the fly. Two, three, four. Directly in that, directly over the top of that foam. Pull tight, trim out your tying thread. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back legs and pull them backwards you want to trim those to about the length of the body of the fly. So just like that. And you grab the forward, the four legs, front legs, and pull them forward and trim them to about a half an inch or so. You should be left with something that looks like this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and finish the fly off with some super glue on the thread wraps just to ensure that it doesn't come apart. Go ahead and flip the fly over in your vise and apply it to the underside of the thread wraps. And there you have a completed adult female squala stonefly. Very effective, super simple pattern. Uh, the squalas are the first stoneflies to hatch on the rivers here in the Pacific Northwest, and trout love to eat them. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, write below, and we will get back to you. We love our feedback, and again, that's Swedes Fly Shop. You can find us here in Spokane, Washington, and have a nice day.